Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this part. Let's start together by opening a new part. Firstly on front plane I'm going to create one sketch and then I will place there a line. And later on by control in my keyboard I'm going to create here line with midpoint relationship line in the middle of my origin and then this height is 50 and I do have here an arc where this two point is vertical and diameter is 45 in order to get this diameter you should press shift button in your keyboard and then radius 30 later on we should make this two point horizontal and this one also horizontal and then our sketch is fully black as you see later on we close our sketch and now we go revolve surface here we are going to make a 45 degree Revolve operation. First, I divide my uh, this part of surface into two pieces, straight line. Intersection will be there, top plane, and surface. Then we divide this into two parts, and then we look from top, and from top plane we create a sketch. Here I have an arc and here I do have another one. This both will be tangent. This here will be tangent. This also will be tangent. And radius value here is 2. And I do close my sketch. First I will split this part of the surface as you see I create here something like this and again from top plane I'm looking and I'm opening a new sketch and I do convert the old sketch here and from our origin here I do create a line and I select existing sketch and I say mirror all sketch will be now construction geometry by the way program merge that one and I click create here one more arc now I do create second split operation and then we get a curve we get a split on surface as you see on the screen. Later on, we go real surface. We select this splitter lines and the length is 8. Now, this surface unnecessary, we can delete it. Yeah, sorry, one more operation. We can Make this surface first, hide them, showing this one. I do create one more time full surface. Now I make it four. And now we can delete this one. As you see, these are our second world surface operation. We can make these bodies in another color. I did create this one because I need a, a curve which will be in the middle of this two point. Exactly in the middle of the surface I need some curve and that's why this is created. Now we go to 3D sketch and we are going to convert this interior line to a 3D sketch. And later on, 
we go to tools under spline tools and fit spline we are going to create from this uh, sketch one spline where will be in one part now we can delete also this for new surface we have a surface and we have a line in the middle uh, later on we go surfaces again I select my offset and I go create zero let's give another color this will be like yeah this color offset is now hidden now and I'm going to go back in this uh, sketch where I have uh, my combined spline and I will divide it into four pieces sketch tools segment with four segment we will divide this one yes this is good we added four segment on our line And now we have offset and we have original surface. I'm going to make a mirror on the original surface. Body's mirror. And then later on a copy. I select my origin, I run my axis, and I select top plane where I created a center. And the circle pattern bodies will be here selected and now i do have the surfaces and then we make a surface now we can make a token which is one in the middle yes guys we have it this is our uh, solid body and now we are going to cut our holes where we can hide this one and show surface surface needed because we want to open some planes on that points where we should define a tangency on the point and then i go this point and say here we have diameter 3 and then later I show my sketch and for this new sketch I do cut my part mid plane and 5 is enough top is cut and now we are going to do the same here we can hide solid and we can hide unnecessary planes because it will be crowded point and surface normal to that point i did create a, a plane where can i place a sketch again three plane two hidden solid bodies visible and then with the sketch we cut it we plane okay one there one there and then we continue we close this one we do create a plane on this point there was four segment one two three four and the starting ones also at the end six times this operation will be repeated this is a metal four I do show my solid, select my sketch, mid play. Solid hidden, plane hidden, same operation. Bear with me, sorry, it can be a little bit boring this repeating operations. 
but it's a nice example for surfacing. You can really get having good comment on surfaces by watching this kind of examples on my channel. And I do select this one and mid plane cut. Last two operation, guys, almost done. They hide it. This one. I'm going to create this on the surface, this plane on the surface. Now, where can I hide this surface offset? Create on this plane a diameter 5. This is OK. And on this surface, this face or plane be better to use. Fine. And I do hide planes. I do hide this sketch, 3D sketch. And in turn, I'm just cutting. Yes. On axis, we click and we go circular pattern. This is one, this is two. Let's copy it. And then we go from plane and we go make mirror. It's for object. And then now, circular pattern, axis here, and holes. Mirror is there. This one here, this one here, and this one selected. Yes, guys. Model is finished. The rest is just simple fillet operation. I'm just making it a little bit smaller than one. Thickness was uh, two in total. Select tangency. And again, select tangency. I'm just going to make first two. And the rest is up to you. Let's see. Yes, it is okay. It is a nice surface example. I hope you like my video. If you like video, please don't forget to make a comment and hit the like button. If you do search much, much more challenging videos, please do visit my channel. You're going to find enough surfaces examples there. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in another video.